paper came back finally. Been out there for quite a while, been doing things, keeping me busy. Finally getting back on it, doing some more stuff. I built three different types of cells, and I'm going to be showing them to you. This one that I got, I'll be firing up, is a, I call it a wet dry cell. It's submerged completely in water, but it's sealed and it's just like a dry cell. So I'll kick it on, kick the generator alternator on. Right now. If we look at the I'm hitting about about thirty amps on this one. My voltage is staying at just about twelve and a half volts. Over here is what it's doing. Got everything soldered. I got tired of messing with plastic. I'm running a half inch hole. Try three eighths, and I find out that half an inch allows a lot more foam to go through. I'll come back over here. Sorry about the jumping around, but I'm trying to carry this pot around with me. That's a pretty good job. This cell is in series, not parallel. Found out by running them in series, the water stays a lot cooler. And also puts out more production. Now, that's one that I got. I want to show you guys something that this cell right here I got the spacing at a quarter of an inch Gap. This is in parallel. It's got two negatives on the outside and one positive on the inside. Now I'll kick it on. Oops, wrong one. Check it on. Drawing about 28 amps. This is just regular hydrogen coming off the plates. Pretty good. Now watch what happens when I apply vacuum on it. Get the pump on. Watch it now. It 
really turns. If I turn the voltage off, just with the vacuum, got 30 inches of vacuum. As soon as I hit the array, it starts bubbling. And this is hydrogen coming off the plate. I don't know if you can see it real, real good. The light drowns it out. Okay, that's the one that I just wanted to see what it would do with vacuum. Now, here's the one I just got done doing. It's a regular dry cell. There's my cell down there. This also is in series. Up here, I got a regular plastic bottle. This This is what this thing puts out bubble wise. I can find it. Hit it. This is approximately running about fifteen, sixteen amps. this thing put out some hydrogen. Did that work closely? You can see the hydrogen just pouring out. Now this was at a cold start. It's been running for about 15 minutes. And the good part about this is if you look over here, let's see if I can zoom in better. Here's the output that I'm getting on this one. It's 16 amps. And What's neat about it is with it being run in series, these alligator clamps or copper clamps that's hooked to the array, ice cold. The water with it, if I would have run this in parallel, this thing would be really warm. Here, it's still cool to the touch. It ain't even creating no heat. Now, shut it off. Come over to here. As soon as I hit it, pressure. Now if you notice, I got one dry cell, another dry cell back there, which is I'm going to hook up. And this bottle is only got three eighth lines, which I'm going to convert over to half inch plastic marks. 
feed both of those into a tea and I'll have twice as much hydrogen coming out of this. I line it off guys but uh, I don't think that'd be a good idea because it blow this thing off the table. A lot of people you see in the videos they say well, that's nothing but steam. No. Because this is cool to the touch. That is gas. And if you want to see what kind of pressure it's got. Say I take this off. Put a balloon on it. That's pretty good, pretty good pressure. Good hydrogen. Kids like to see this. It floats. We know that is hydrogen. Keep you posted as I go along. Paper kit out.